big scaly head. Now they can hold their breath for two hours. And they'll eat you, or an impala, or a turtle, or even a lion or a leopard. Now, there's been a lot of wonderful stories written about crocodiles. Some of you might even know one or two of the stories. And my favorite one that you might know was written by a man called Rudyard Kipling. I just want to see where the crocodile's going. Make sure he doesn't sneak up on me. Don't worry, he won't come at me when I'm in my car. And I can just see where his bubbles are going. But the story is how the elephant got his long trunk. Oh, there he is. You can just see his back popping. There we go. So I think he's hunting turtles. And the story is from a wonderful book of stories for children called The Just So Stories. And the crocodile that gave the elephant his long nose lived on the banks of a limp of the Limpopo River which is not too far from here and if I remember correctly from my childhood uh, the poem and the story went something like this on the banks of the great grey green greasy Limpopo all beset with fever trees and that's about all I can remember now this is where it's getting quite interesting so he I think he's trying to push turtles up into the shallows where he's going to be able to corner them or catch them there could even be a few catfish and he might be fishing for them but I think he's quite hungry to be moving around at this time of the day see how he's dipping his nose I think he's trying to chase the turtles to the edge I'm trying to remember, there's some other stuff about crocodiles from when I was a kid. Well, Craig, do you remember, never smile at a crocodile? I'm trying to remember where I remember that from. And of course, there's that wonderful old song. Uh, what is it? See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Now, I guess this crocodile is about two and a half, two and a half meters. And so it's a bit bigger than me. So probably eight or nine feet, maybe eight feet. Now, the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, because we don't have any alligators in Africa, we only have crocodiles, is if we zoom right in on those bumps on his back, and you see those there. Now, inside those little ridges, is bone and in an alligator it's cartilage so it's not bone so the armor sh armored shell of a crocodile is quite a lot stronger than that of an alligator now Emil's wondering will a crocodile ever walk on land yes they will they'll these little bits of water like this dry up from time to time so they'll have to walk from different bits of water to the other so this one only arrived in this small bit of water about four or five days ago that we know about so he walked from a bigger body of water that's about three miles from here they normally walk at night uh, when it's a bit cooler oh look he's going into that shallow again maybe he's picked up that there's a turtle there. Now, you can't really see from here, but all along his nose are tiny little black spots, and those are called sicillary organs. And those basically, oh, 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 he, ew, he tried to bite, he tried to grab a turtle there. I mean, he saw him turn his head to the side. Look at those teeth! Now, those little black spots all along his nose, and he's got thousands upon thousands of them are called, as I said, sicillary organs, and they basically pick up vibrations in the water. So if anything gets within about 10 inches of a crocodile's nose, it can feel the vibrations and then bite uh, down on that. Hello, Meadow. Meadow is wondering, is the crocodile on top of the food web? Indeedy, it is. A uh, crocodile will even eat a lion or a leopard or a hyena. Um, but Sometimes when they're smaller, uh, they can be eaten by lions and by leopards and even by hyenas. But at this size, not many other animals would tangle with it and they're definitely right up at the top of the food chain. So now what he's doing with his nose is he's digging in the mud. 
and he's trying to disturb a little turtle that might be hiding in the mud for a little snack. Oh, there we go. He's got something. He's got it. Did he get it? No, not yet. I think that little turtle got away. Lucky turtle. So if he does catch something, uh, he'll normally throw his head back to start feeding. Now there could also be a type of catfish that's hiding in the mud there that he could be fishing for. But I think at this time of the day, with the heat, the catfish will be in deep water. So I definitely think he's feeding and looking for turtles. We call them terrapins. Michael's wondering how long can a crocodile stay in water? Now, Michael, they can probably spend their whole life in water if they wanted to, but uh, normally they can stay underwater for up to two hours, uh, but they'll, when they get cold, they like to lie out in the sun and enjoy a good old suntan.